living in Henderson, Nevada versus Summerlin, Nevada. Which is the best place to live in? You're about to find out. Hey guys, this is Jerry Abbott. I'm a realtor here with Simply Vegas Real Estate in the beautiful city of Las Vegas, Nevada. If this is your first time on the channel, please consider subscribing and liking that video and also clicking that little bell notification next to it. Honestly, I get calls from people wanting to move here all the time. So if you're thinking about relocating to Las Vegas and you're interested in buying a new home, I am your guy. I've lived here for 17 years. I know every inch of the city. Just contact me at the information that you see on the screen. Okay, another beautiful day here in sunny Las Vegas. Today we're gonna to talk about Summerlin, Nevada versus Henderson, Nevada. They're both located in two different areas in the city and we're about to find out which is the more desirable place to live. It's really gonna be based on preference, but let's first take a deeper dive over into the Summerlin area. Okay guys, I wanna just show you on the map just for an illustrative purpose. I wanna just show you right here, this little airplane picture, that's McCarran Airport where millions of people fly into because five minutes away in a car ride over is the world famous Las Vegas Strip. So this is the center area of the city where millions of people come visit. But as you can see, there's a big area with a lot of different sections of Las Vegas where hundreds of thousands of people live. And what I wanna do in this video is I wanna show you two of the most desirable areas. The first one, is what I had just mentioned earlier, Summerlin. Summerlin up here is about a 20 minute drive from the main area of the center of the city. And you take a drive up the 215 and this entire pink shaded area has about 100,000 people in it. This is the largest master plan community. It's an affluent community backed up against the Red Rock Mountains. So let's take a little bit of a deeper look into Summerlin first. So this is beautiful Summerlin, Las Vegas. This is about 20 minutes west of the famous Las Vegas Strip. This is home to about 100,000 people. It is the largest master plan community backed up against the beautiful Red Rock Mountain Range. And as you can tell, the vistas here are absolutely beautiful. You have Red Rock Canyon that people travel through. You've got just breathtaking views. So a lot of people travel here through car, through bike, they hike, they do a lot of great things. Even the home communities, as you can see, are built right into the mountain ranges here. So if you want views, this is definitely the place to find them. Also too, right nearby is the Red Rock Resort. A lot of great things for locals to do here, not just the casino, but obviously you've got entertainment, there's bowling alleys, there's movie theaters, there's a pool there. So there's a lot of great things that you can do over at the Red Rock Resort. And about a block south of that are these gorgeous new shopping areas called the Summerlin Shops. It's kind of like a California outdoor mall. And then of course you got the real estate. This is an example of a typical home in Summerlin, about $600,000 here, kind of a, just a nice Mediterranean type of home. And then you can go to a different type of architecture, like a modern one like this. This is closer to a million dollars. Really beautiful stuff that's coming into the Summerlin area now. And then if you got the really big bucks, these are the multi-million dollar homes that you typically find on golf course lots. Beautiful stuff in Summerlin. So as you can see, Summerlin is one of the more desirable places to live in all of the Las Vegas area. Actually, some people call Summerlin the Palm Springs of Las Vegas. It's a little bit further outside the city area. It's only about 20 minutes away, but it's just an absolutely beautiful place. So that's one section of the city that you really might want to consider living in if you're thinking about relocating to Las Vegas. The other one is Henderson, and that's the one I want to show you right now. So let's take a little bit of a deeper dive into Henderson, Nevada. Okay, so that pretty much wraps up Summerlin. Summerlin obviously is up here on the west side of town, about a 20 minute drive here from the center. Now, if you go from the center down into the southeast section, here is Henderson. Henderson is about 10 or 15 minutes away. It's a little bit closer to the main section of Las Vegas. Henderson is the only city, really the closest city to Las Vegas with about 300,000 people. It's a little bit older than Summerlin. So let's take a little bit more of a detailed look into Henderson. So this is beautiful Henderson, Nevada. You can see the views here are very, very nice. Obviously got a lot of great places to live down here just based on the views. There's about 300,000 people that live down here. This is an actual city just southeast of Las Vegas. And one of the actual original communities down here that it's a sub-community is called Green Valley Ranch. A lot of people love being down here. It's got a lot of trees, a lot of greenery down here. Doesn't have that kind of super deserty kind of feel. Then there's a newer community here that's called Anthem. This is a large community that's got a lot of different age categories here. A lot of great real estate there as well. 
One of the other great things about Henderson too, it's ranked number one or two as the safest city in the country. So there's a lot of safety down here. Great place to raise a family. Right nearby too is Green Valley Ranch. And as you can tell, a lot of locals can come here. A lot of people visit down here. Absolutely beautiful community and a great resort for people to go to. Just right next door, you know, the district shopping area. Again, another outdoor, wonderful shopping area for locals or for tourists. There's really just not a lot of things you're gonna run out of to do. You can see the golf courses, all the different activities you can do down here. You're not gonna really find too many things to get bored with down in Henderson. Now, when you get to the real estate, this is a typical home in Green Valley Ranch, a little bit older in the mid 300,000 range to the low 400,000 range. A lot of good stuff down here that's not new, but still looks fantastic. Then you get to something like this, which is a little bit of a higher price point in the six hundred dollars to $700,000 range. A little bit newer, definitely depends on what kind of budget you have. And then of course, if you got the big bucks, you can get to the multi-million dollar homes here, which are typically in the private golf course communities, but Henderson is a great place to live. Okay, so as you can see, Henderson is a little bit of a different kind of a place than Summerlin. Summerlin is definitely more out towards the nature, more in the mountains area. Henderson is a little bit more established. It's been around a lot longer. There's a lot more things to do. It's a little bit more consolidated and it's been around a little bit longer, but a lot of people like it because that's really the original kind of local area that people really like. So you got the best of both worlds. You can live out in kind of like the Palm Springs section of the area, like a Summerlin, or you can be down in a more established place like Henderson. Either way, you can't go wrong with either location. Okay guys, so that pretty much wraps up the difference between Summerlin, Nevada and Henderson, Nevada. Both of them are gorgeous areas to live in. It really just boils down to preference as to whether or not you want to live on the west side of the town, more in the mountain area, or down in the southeast area in Henderson, which is a little bit more of an established community. Either way, they're gorgeous places and they have beautiful properties. If you're interested in thinking about relocating to either Summerlin or Henderson, I am your guy. I've lived in this city for 17 years. I'm a realtor with Simply Vegas. Just contact me anytime at the information you see on the screen.